स्टूडेंट्स असलकुम आई होप यू हैव लर्न अबाउट डेफिनेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप इन माय लास्ट ई लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन माइक्रोस्कोपी इन टूडे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप आई वेलकम यू टू ए एस अकेडमी लर्निंग फॉर एवर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस ई लर्निंग सेशन यू आर एबल टू डिफाइन सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप अंडरस्टैंड इट्स डिजाइन demonstrate the knowledge of important basic terms of microscopy draw its ray diagram and derive formula for its magnification value first we will see the definition the microscope that uses single lens for magnification of object is called as simple microscope so if you are using a simple magnifying lens to observe the small object then it is also called as simple microscope because it uses single lens whereas in lab we use well designed simple microscope which looks something like this it consists of three systems first support system which purely plays role in supporting the function of microscope that include base which keep microscope in upright position body tube it provide support to hold stage mirror and eyepiece of the microscope and stage it helps in keeping slide or object below the eyepiece lens since base body tube and stage it support other two system these are called as supporting system of simple microscope second illumination system illumination system of simple microscope consists of only a mirror which illuminate light on the object third is magnification system it consists of single eyepiece lens which help in magnification of object now we will learn important basic terms to understand ray diagram and derive formula for its magnification value first term is least distance of distinct vision before studying how object is enlarged or magnified by the simple microscope we must understand how small object is visible by naked eye so if there is small object and if you want to see this object through your naked eye you will bring the object close to your eye suppose a small diamond kept at far distance from your eye so to see a clear image of this small diamond you need to bring the object close to your eye and when you bring object close to your eye the size of diamond will increase and you can clearly see that diamond so minimum distance up to which the object can be seen distinctly clear by the naked eye is called as least distance of distinct vision so it is denoted by symbol d it is also called as near point because here object is near to the eye in case of normal adult individual whose vision is good the average value of least distance of distinct vision is 25 cm now observe what happen when this diamond is move far away from the eye is it visible yes it is visible but size of diamond is decrease and now we cannot see its clear image so the point far away from the eye where object is visible it is called as far point since there is no limit from how far you can see the object this point is also called as infinity to conclude through naked eye we can clearly see the object if it is kept in the range of 25 cm from the eye and that is called as least distance of distinct vision second term is visual angle an angle formed by the object at the eye is called as visual angle it is denoted by the symbol theta let's try to understand this with example suppose there is an object having a size of h0 kept at far point so how you will write this distance since it is kept at far point what is d we have studied the d is near point so far point is d plus x so this d plus x it is the far point when object is kept at far point visual angle will be small 
and as a result of that small image of object is seen by the eye now let's bring object at near point when object bring near to the eye at the distance of d you are not change the size of the object the size of object it is same that is h0 as compared to my first image now object it is near to i when the object it is near to i there will be increase in a visual angle as a result of that large image of object will be formed now let's see what happen when we see large object when we see the large object there will be increase in a visual angle and as a result of that large size of image will be seen by the eye so based on our discussion we have seen that the visual angle it is related to two important parameter first it is least distant of distinct vision that is d where visual angle is indirectly proportional to least distant of distinct vision if this distance it is too far from the eye then visual angle form will be the small and the image that we observe will also be a small likewise it is also related to size of the object if size of the object it is more then it will form larger visual angle and as a result of that larger image of the object will be formed in the eye we have seen that if bigger is the visual angle bigger image of the object will be formed in the eye so if you want to see the smallest object like bacteria then in this case since size of the bacteria is very small visual angle of the bacteria formed with the eye will also be a small and as a result of that you cannot see such smallest object by using your naked eye so in such case you need special equipment called as microscope to enlarge the image of this object this is possible because of important property of the microscope that is called as magnifying power of the microscope the degree of enlargement of the object by the microscope it is called as magnifying power or it is also called as magnification of the microscope it is denoted by the m it is calculated mathematically by using the formula visual angle subtended by the final image that is beta divided by visual angle subtended means formed by the object when placed at the distance d that is alpha so visual angle subtended by the final image it is called as beta and visual angle subtended by the object when placed at a distance d it is called as alpha that means m is equal to beta upon alpha and since it is the angle it will be multiplied by tan so tan beta divided by tan alpha now we will draw ray diagram of simple microscope and derive derivative of its magnification value so we know that simple microscope consists of single convex lens so now this is a single convex lens through which principal axis is passed now we'll keep object ab having size of h0 in the light path of the convex lens now to understand how light ray will pass from this convex lens let's draw two important point first is the center of convex lens it is called as optical center and we will write it as o second point is the focus let's write it as a f it is a point on the principal axis from where all light rays coming parallel to the principal axis will be passed so this is first light ray coming from the object since it is parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the convex lens it will pass through the focus that is f and second light ray will pass through the optical center now you can see here none of these two light rays meet each other in their path this type of light rays which never meet are called as diverging rays remember that the real image of object will form only when light rays passing through the focus and optical center meet each other since here light ray does not meet real image of object will not form but virtual image of object will form by joining these two light rays the image form is called as a dash b with the size of hi hi because it is the size of the image we are interested in calculating value for m that is magnification value and we know that 
m is equal to tan beta and tan alpha. So now let me know what you see through microscope. Obviously, you are seeing very smallest object. You will not use microscope to see the mountain. Since you see very smallest object, the visual angle form here with that smallest object will be very small. Since both beta and alpha are the small, these are the visual angle. So tan beta is equal to beta and tan alpha is equal to alpha and hence m is equal to beta divided by alpha. So what is beta? So we have seen that the beta is equal to visual angle subtended by the final image. So now this is the final image and the angle formed by this image it is called as beta. It is very difficult to know what is the size of the image because it is virtual image and we also don't know how far this image is formed from the convex lens. So what known to us h0 that is size of the object it is known to us and the distance of this object from the convex lens that is ue it is also known to us. So it is ue because it is close to the eyepiece lens and we know that simple microscope consists of only eyepiece lens. So let's see how we can calculate this beta. So beta will be equal to this h0 divided by ue. Now it form the equation 1. Now we need to calculate alpha. So alpha is equal to visual angle subtended by the object when placed at the distance d. So it is the case when we have seen the image having the size of h0 when it is placed at the distance of the d that is least distance of distinct vision it will form one angle and this angle it is called as alpha. So alpha will be equal to h0 divided by d and it will form our second equation. So let's put this equation in the formula of magnification value. We know that magnification value is equal to beta upon alpha. So beta was h0 by ue divided by alpha that is h0 by d. So here h0 and h0 will cancel and final equation remains is d divided by ue. So magnification value for simple microscope is equal to d divided by ue. So as a summary in today's e-lecture session we have learned about definition of simple microscope. We have understand its design. We have learned important terms such as least distance of distinct vision that is d, visual angle that is theta and magnification value that is m. We have also drawn ray diagram of simple microscope and derived formula for magnification value of simple microscope. Thanks for watching. For more such learning, subscribe to my channel.